Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my gimmick puppet Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post Ignition Assault. Following the Heraldic Beast and the Chronomaly deck profile updates, I also wanted to do an update to the gimmick puppet deck since it received new support in the latest Yu-Gi-Oh booster pack, Ignition Assault. It's a really fun deck. The main focus of the gimmick puppet deck is to summon out your rank 8 Xyz monsters, all the different number monsters that can do either burn damage to your opponent, uh, have a win condition, or even destroy special summon monsters your opponent controls, and also use their Chaos Xyz forms for even more deadly combinations against your opponent. It's a really fun deck, definitely do recommend it if you're looking to build an Xyz deck. I'd say it's probably one of the most consistent and best of the three of the, I would say, uh, number uh, decks I've done of the late. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the Gimmick Puppet Monsters, I run three Gimmick Puppet Dreary Doll. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one other Gimmick Puppet Monster from your graveyard to special summon this card. You can only use this effect of Gimmick Puppet Dreary Doll once per turn. It cannot be used as a material for Exceed Summon except for the Exceed Summon of a Gimmick Puppet Monster, which you're not really limited to with this deck since that is the majority of the different plays we do. And also just having an easy special summon of this card by uh, banishing an, uh, just a Gimmick Puppet Monster is what we we uh, mostly have set up in the graveyard most of the time since I decided to go for a pure monster gimmick puppet only for this deck build, which I do like the results of what I ended up with just being very consistent with all the different plays. And Drury Doll adds to that just being able to get her set up in the graveyard and then go for those plays is your main focus with this card overall in the deck. And for the new uh, Gimmick Puppet Monster, I'm also running three Gimmick Puppet Bisque Doll. With this one, you can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one Gimmick Puppet Monster. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Your opponent cannot target Gimmick Puppet Monsters you control with card effects this turn. So just an easy summon. If you have the Dreary Doll in your hand, you can then use Abyss Doll's effect to set up the Dreary Doll in your graveyard, special summoning out this card. Then as long as you have the other monster set up, you can special summon Dreary Doll back onto the field and have your Exceed play right there to go into with Bisque Doll. It's definitely, I would say, your best setup as long as you have the other Gimmick Puppet Monsters in your hand to use. So you definitely want that. And also the protection effect from your graveyard by banishing this card is just another added plus as well. And I also run three Gimmick Puppet Magnet Doll. If you, our opponent, controls a monster and all monsters you control are face-up Gimmick Puppet Monsters, minimum one, you can special summon this card from your hand. So it's not just a straight-up special summon. You do have to have a Gimmick Puppet Monster, but it's very easy. Uh, just having, you know, obviously either the Bisque Doll or even the Drury Doll set up just gives you the free special summon of the Magnet Doll. And it's not even a once per turn, so if you open up multiples of the Magnet Doll in your hand, you can just special summon those ones out onto the field as well. So an added bonus there, especially if you want to go for your linked plays for the gimmick puppets before you even go for your exceed plays, which is one thing that definitely does put this deck on top over the Heraldic Beasts and the Chronomalies by the fact that this deck has a link monster to use as well. And I also run three Gimmick Puppet Humpty Dumpty. With this one, when this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one Gimmick Puppet monster from your hand. You can use this effect of Gimmick Puppet Humpty Dumpty once per turn. So you're not limited with the Dreary Doll special summon. You can even just normal summon out your Gimmick Puppet Humpty Dumpty special summon Dreary Doll. Go for the Link 2 play and then have your Link 2 monster out on the field and then have the graveyard set up by banishing your Humpty Dumpty to special summon Dreary Doll back out onto the field. I'll go over the actual uh, you know link summon plays and combo plays also at the end of the video so look forward to that as well and also one of the newer gimmick puppet monsters i run three gimmick puppet terror baby you win this card is normal summon you can target one gimmick puppet monster in your graveyard except puppet terror baby special summon it in defense position you can banish this card from your graveyard your opponent cannot activate effects or card effects in response to the activation of your gimmick puppet monster effects this turn so the special summon from the graveyard i'd say it's the counterpart of humpty dumpty having your hand special summon plays and your graveyard special summon plays all work very very well together depending on how you want to do your link plays and then your exceed plays also 
since we also have spells in this deck that focus on equaling out the levels of your different gimmick puppet monsters for your different exceed plays. I maxed out all the different uh, gimmick puppets I have here just because they all work very very well together for the consistency as long as you have the gimmick puppet monsters in your graveyard to use as well. So three of everything up to this point is definitely needed. The only one of for the gimmick puppet monsters I run is the one gimmick puppet shadow feeler. It cannot be destroyed by battle when you take battle damage from an opponent's direct attack while this card is in your graveyard. You can special summon this card from your graveyard and face up attack position. If you do take 1000 damage, you can only use this effect of puppet feeler once per turn. And if this card is an XC material and it would be sent to the graveyard, banish it instead. So just a setup card for that. As long as you can get set up in the graveyard with a lot of other different cards in the deck, very easy to do. And just that uh, monster special summon that definitely can help to protect yourself against your opponent just for the 1000 points of damage. And since it can't be destroyed in battle, gives you that extra wall for your opponent to go up against. And then just another resource on your field for you to use next turn also. And that is it for the monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. I run three Junk Puppet, just more special summoning. You target one gimmick puppet monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can activate one Junk Puppet per turn, but still a great way to just get that additional monster onto your field. If you don't want to waste the resources for the Banish using your Drury Doll, special summoning it back to the field with this spell card is another added plus that you can do and rely on. So remember that and why I like to run three of this. But for the new spell card, I am running three Condolence Puppet. With this one, it is your go-to spell card card for some of your setup. You send gimmick puppet monsters with different names from your deck to the graveyard up to the number of monsters your opponent controls that were special summoned from the extra deck plus one. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one machine XYZ monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects while face up on the field. You can only use each effect of condolence puppet once per turn. So the big one with that effect is your number 88 gimmick puppet of Leo since it's your game winner. Being able to prevent it from being destroyed by your opponent's card effects while face up on the field means your opponent either has to, you know, return the card to the hand or you know attack over it which can be a big fit, uh, feat on its own but condolence puppet is that setup because you just need the one extra deck monster for your opponent because it's a plus one giving you the two exceeds there but if you have two or more extra deck monsters on your opponent's field then you can get the three you need for your send option and then just an easy special summon back onto the field also and I also run two Perform Puppet. It's a continuous spell. You can banish one gimmick puppet monster from your graveyard. All monsters you can currently control become that banished monster's level until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. And if a face of gimmick puppet monster you control is destroyed by battle or a opponent's card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can target one of your banished gimmick puppet monsters, special summon it, and you can only use each effect of Perform Puppet once per turn. The banish effect, really, since you do banish a lot with this deck, is really, really useful for getting back monsters to use for your exceed summons. But the level of fact you do run rank four and rank eight monsters so depending on which one you banish which you know we only have level eight or level four monsters so you have those two options to go for can help for the different exceeds whether you want it to be your gigantes doll or one of your different number monsters you run in the deck also really feel you only need the two uh, perform puppet though since it is a continuous spell you only need the three it gets kind of clogged otherwise since you can't banish this as an option for dreary doll and I also run two Rank Up Magic Numeron Force. Since Argent Force is banned, you target one face of Xyz monster you control, special summon from your extra deck one number C monster with the same type as the Xyz material. It's treated as an Xyz summon and the Xyz materials attached to it also become the Xyz materials on the new summon monster. Then if any face up cards on the field other than this card and the monster summoned by it, negate the effects of those other cards. You can even set this card with your trap, which we'll get to, Puppet Parade, which is another added bonus. But just to go into your Chaos Xyz, I only run the two. You really would would only ever go into two at a time in one game depending on the ones you need for these specific plays whether it's with your string counters or destroying your opponent's special summon monsters or going into c88 for that game win play um, and like i said you could set this card with your trap puppet parade so you don't really need any more than that since you can easily add it onto the field and for more special summon resources, I run three, Machine Duplication. You just target a Machine Time Monster with 500 or less attack, which can be Dreary Doll, uh, Humpty Dumpty, you name it. You can then special summon up to two monsters from your deck with the same name as that. I like this over Inferno Reckless Summon, so you don't give your opponent any resources. And then you can obviously overlay with those cards depending on which one you summon out to the field. 
And then for more draw power, and since we have an easy way to get back our banished gimmick puppet monsters, three Alara Darkness for the draw consistency to get to the cards we need for our plays. And also the two trade in. You have plenty of level eight monsters, even being able to set up Dreary Doll, which, like I said, she's one of your main go to ones, or even your Shadow Feeler in the graveyard for draw power with this card, um, an added plus on the discard. And your opponent's back row can be the biggest enemy for this deck. So I do like to main deck the two Twin Twister just to stop cards like Solemn Warning, Solemn Strike, Solemn Judgment, and your monsters you get out. Because like I said, that could really hurt your plays. If you can at least bait out the Solemns with this card, it definitely does help. And then for the one ofs, the one Monster Reborn, special summoning more along with the Junk Puppet since it's once per turn, and the one Foolish Burial, setting up your Dreary Doll of all cards in the deck. But like I said, you can't go wrong. Or just something for your, you know, Terror Baby to special summon back onto the field as well with what you set up with Foolish Burial. And then for the traps, the two puppet parade, you, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, special summon gimmick puppet monsters with different names from your deck up to the difference. Then if your opponent's life points are at least 2,000 higher than yours, you can set one rank up magic normal spell directly from your deck. For the rest of this turn, after this effect resolves, you cannot special summon monsters except gimmick puppet monsters. But that's what you're going to do with the Chaos Exceeds anyway. So being able to set your rank spell so you don't have to draw it and then give you the monsters to go into your Exceed play makes this very useful just being able to set this up and then go for your opponent's turn, as long as they have more monsters than you also on the field. And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra deck. I run two Gimmick Puppet Gigantes Doll. It's only one that's a non-number Gimmick Puppet. You can detach two materials from this to target up to two monsters your opponent controls. Gain control of them until the end of this turn. And then you cannot special some monsters except Gimmick Puppet monsters, nor declare an attack with except when they exceed monster. And you contribute this card. All monsters you currently control become level 8 until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of the Gimmick Puppet Gigantes Doll once per turn. You aren't really limited with your exceed summons for your gimmick puppet numbers they just need level eight monsters so gigantes doll takes your opponent's resources and with master rule it's just gonna be all the better because then you can get out multiple exceeds and not even need the link arrows you can just use those straight up for the exceeds plays and not even have to use them for the link plays and I also run two number 40 gimmick puppet of strings using this for the string counters and the destruction plays plus your boss monster being 3,000 attack uh, very very useful there and I also run one number 15 Gimmick Puppet Giant Grinder and one number 88 Gimmick Puppet of Leo. This is your win condition card with your destiny counters and making it unable to be destroyed by card effects can really scare your opponent into needing to get rid of this card before you win the game. And the Giant Grinder helps to get rid of special summon monsters. And for the Chaos Monsters, I run one number C15 uh, Puppet Giant Hunter. 1C40, uh, Puppet of Dark Strings, and CA8, Gimmick Puppet, Disaster Leo. For all the rank-up plays you can do with these, just for more elevated effects of the already scary Wind Condition, uh, String Counter, and Special Summon Burn damage. And I also run one number 38, Hope Harbinger, and one number 68. More number plays, but also just rank 8 plays that can help depending on the play you want to go for it. <coughs> Excuse me. But moving on now also to the Link Monsters, I run two Gimmick Puppet Chimera Doll. With this, you need the Machine Monsters, but more set up for all your different Gimmick Puppet Monsters for special summoning them out to the deck. It's very, very useful. You just need two Machine Monsters, like I said, and then you have your Exceed Place to go for, for multiple arrows also. Very useful even in Master Rule 5, just because you'll have the different setup for your Gimmick Puppet Monsters. And also one Wee Witch's Apprentice, since all the different Gimmick Puppet Monsters are dark, just for the added attack bonus. And one Nightmare Phoenix to take care of more of your opponent's back row also. And then, just for some more of the uh, setup plays, being able to go for the Link Monster play, as long as you have like the Magnet Doll, the Bisque Doll, and the Dreary Doll, you'll have your setup ready to go. So you'll basically want to discard the Dreary Doll off of the Bisque Doll, giving you your monster. As long as your opponent has the monster in the field, you can special summon out the Magnet Doll, and then go for the Exceed play right then and there. Or even if you have just these monsters in your your hand ready for the uh, setup. You can go with the uh, Bist Doll, Magnet Doll, and the Terror Baby, and then discard the uh, Bist Doll with the Magnet Doll play. 
giving you the setup in the graveyard for then summoning out the baby doll and special summoning out the magnet doll. Having all the different monsters in the hand makes it all the difference for the pluses, giving you the option for special summoning out your different plays for the link monsters. But the biggest one of all is obviously just to use your Bist doll to set up your dreary doll, special summoning out Bist doll, then being able to use your Terror baby to summon out the dreary doll using its own effect and then being able to link the two into the graveyard and then have your link to monster out on the field and then being able to banish the terror baby for the dreary doll and then overlay into any of the uh, different number monsters you have in the deck depending on which one you want to go for for the different plays defensively for number 15 and offensively for number 40 and then game winning if you have the three level eights for number 88. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. With that, that finishes the three different decks we received for the Zexal support from Ignition Assault. I hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.